no shaking a mecca. When all is said and done, it could be said that human relationships truly make the world go round. Time to get the ball rolling. Kiss and make up. I want to look at the positive side of conflict and reconciliation. Research shows that conflict in our day-to-day -day relationships has a direct impact on our health. A study carried out by Portland State University Institute on aging on 650 plus adults in two years found that what they call stable negative social exchanges or repetitive or prolonged conflict was significantly associated with what they identified as lower self-rated health, greater functional limitations, and a higher number of health conditions. According to the study, you may become more susceptible to chronic headaches and illnesses like cold and flu. You may also experience chronic pain in areas like your back or neck. Furthermore, another research found that in couples where one partner habitually suppressed anger, partners tended to die younger. Additionally, couples uh, in relationships where both partners suppressed anger died even younger still. If you're anything like me, then you probably mostly avoid confrontation. However, if we're citizens of this planet, and we all are, we soon learn that life is not about to let us off the hook. So no matter how, how, how we try to avoid it, confrontations, clashes, and disagreements come to all of us. The question, therefore, is this. Are there benefits we stand to gain from a good full-on disagreement? I want to advocate that being able to frankly and honestly disagree and then find a point of understanding is a mark of true friendship and mutual respect. Caring about someone enough to tell them the truth, even if it feels like the clash of the titans at the time, isn't a common enough phenomena, for me anyway. We must actively encourage those closest to us to correct us, albeit in a respectful way. Ultimately, the prescription for conflict resolution is communication, communication, and communication. As much as lies in you and me, keep those channels of communication open. Recognizing that friendships and partnerships grow and are enriched through the test of conflict should make resolution that much more prized because through them, we develop a greater understanding of the person we thought we knew. Respect blossoms, since it takes humility to concede or even compromise on our original positions. As we get into the season of family gatherings and group celebrations, let us encourage a culture of reconciliation in our homes and workplaces. Frankly speaking, let us look out for opportunities to kiss and make up. Yeah, I thought I was coming. <laughs> I was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you move away? Why? You should come closer now. <laughs> We have a quarrel. No, so there's yeah. nothing to kiss about. But you don't know have to say, you know, when 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 lovers quarrel, um, that makeup thing is the sweetest. So <laughs> what? True. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, this, is, this is this is this is. He's speaking from experience. Uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously, you know, sometimes you need a bit, a little bit of friction. And, and life is, you you the test of friendship is actually, um, or any kind of relationship is, you 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 encounter difficulties and friction. I, I think for me, uh, I never go into any relationship, um, whether with family or friends or work and things like that, with a mindset to 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 close the border, so to speak. Okay. Um, what do you I, mean? I, I mean, I always I don't take people for grant, granted. Um, I always want to find out. I give people the opportunity to to be better, to explain themselves, um, and I this I always look out for the positive thing in someone. Mm. You know, it's not, it's not always worked out because sometimes people take advantage. Mm -hmm. But I, I think the most important thing is that for me, when, when that is all said and done, I walk away. But I walk away with a sense of I don't feel yeah. like someone who's really hurt yeah. me. I've yeah. had friends who really, really, really hurt me. The way that I look at it is I was angry with them for a long while. And one day I, I had to call this friend. I said, you know what, guy? I'm sorry if I, if, if I have hurt you. And I want you to know that you know, it's cool with me. And immediately I dropped that phone. I felt very emotional. I felt light. Excellent. I felt like, you know what? And I, we see each other. We say, hi, you know. Your friend uh, was really stunned by that. He was stunned. We, very you know, we, we, we've yeah. not, we don't do business anymore. Uh, or probably we can never. But we still maintain that relationship. relationship of, hey, hi, we're not enemies, so to speak. And I think yeah. it really, for me, it's uh, from a sense of self-preservation, it made me feel better mm -hmm. that I wasn't carrying anger and bitterness. Yeah, cool. And I, I think, so this, your advocacy kind of speaks to me, and especially this season of Christmas, mm -hmm. that, you know, we should, 
I think that's what the season is for. Let go. Um, is to <laughs> is to engage, let go, and just um, because we carry a lot of a lot of us carry a lot of. Um, I Anger. Know, I like your and, 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 thing. And, and, yeah. Keep the borders open. I keep powers, you know. <laughs> let goods. <laughs> let it <Yeah>. very flow. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I can't argue business. with that. We definitely have to communicate and communicate. I mean, I know where I was coming from. I, I've only just come to the other side of communicate, communicate, because I was the queen of keeping malice, sending people to Coventry. I will talk to you. For I, In fact, I could hold the record. I remember I did that to my younger brother for so long. He came and begged me and said, yeah, But how does it make you feel? Is it empowering? It was something? empowering at the time because that was the only power I had, yeah. you know. So I was definitely using it. But, um, you know, obviously when you get into more adult relationships and everything, you don't want to leave like carnage behind you of, of relationships that could have been repaired, maybe not to what they originally were, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. at least to a point where you're still civil. When, you know, they, they talk about you in public to that person, that person's not going to say, ooh, that criminal yeah. or that whatever. Um, I realized the value in keeping on decent terms with most people. We don't have to have that, yeah. you know, tight relationship. But if we take it now into a real personal one-on-one -on -one relationship, I can tell you that the moment I stop communicating in any relationship, that spells the end okay. of that relationship. You know, because you be it, once I, there's issues. a week that goes by, I haven't spoken about what is inside me, then another week will go by and another week will go by. And pretty much that's the end of it. I would, I would have decided how to end that relationship at that point because my thinking would be that you should know better. You're civilized, yeah. you're enlightened, you're educated. You should respect people. I shouldn't have to tell you how to treat me. Mm. If I even have to tell you how to treat me, then you're not the man. You know, that's how I, I you know, react to mm. such situations. So I really think, and nobody's perfect. Sometimes people are doing yeah. different things and you're just making all these assumptions. Mm. So again, that's where communication, communication is key. Yeah. And, you know, not avoiding conflicts yeah. within relationships because that's another thing. I always yeah. thought uh, to express how you feel about something is like, ah, oh, all hell will break loose, mm. you know. But it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. You two should be able to sit, talk yeah. about it, and then grow from it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I agree with I think, you. I think what comes to my head is this phrase that, you know, um, anger, malice, is like giving somebody free parking space in yeah, your head. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, it does. It you does. know, you, and you don't need you don't need that <laughs> that that crowdiness in your head. Um, most of us, you know, confrontation comes from you know feeling that you're not being heard or you're not your your views or whatever is suppressed, and we we need to uh, you know develop this culture of taking feedback. You know, yes. accepting mm. feedbacks, it, the way you process it, well. you know, you shouldn't look at it like it's a negative thing. It's just somebody telling you how I feel right now. And that's how I feel. It doesn't necessarily portray how you yeah. would feel about me. It's just me telling you how I feel about what you've done to me, mm -hmm. you know. But most times we process this thing differently and it just, it just turns into the spiral thing. Human nature you know? is it's, it's complicated. Yes, it it's is. Complex. Yeah. complex. You know, and that thing, the neuro-linguistic thing about, you know, uh, nothing means anything except what the meaning you, you give it. to it. It's very important. It's very significant because it worked for me in my own, it helps give you my marriage. You know, yeah, that benefit of doubt. Mm -hmm. You could, you could, you could say your mother, and your mother to me is <laughs> yeah, she's at home. You know, she's fine. <laughs> you know, and somebody else will take an yeah. offense from it. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's how you process it. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. Because no, I mean, I, I don't know if you can want to come in, but I, you know, I, I, I feel that you know, I have a lot of respect for people when they're able to come back and make the, the move to say, you know, let's, let's, let's talk about this. I, I, I have a lot of regard for human beings who can reach out. So now I'm beginning to see conflict as a very positive thing, you know, because uh, I know that even, you know, again, a personal example, when I first got married, I, I've always been someone who internalizes pain. And so I carried that into my marriage. And I remember one of the heated, and my husband had been vexing me in the early stages when we were meant to be on honeymoon. He had been saying, dropping things that were just, and I would just internalize it. And so one of the times he said, oh, let's do something together. And I just erupted. And I said, oh, who's doing anything with you? And I slammed the door and walked away. And he came and he said, what's the matter? And then I started offloading things from weeks back that he had done to me. And he just stood there with the mouth hanging open. And you know what he said at the end? He goes, so do you feel better now? And when I said, I said, actually, I feel, what? <laughs> I mean, you know, I feel wonderful. He said, I, I shouldn't wait that long next time. You know, he can carry, he can bear it. So because of him, he's trained me to enjoy bringing things up. Even if it's two o'clock in the night, we're going to thrash it out. And you feel relieved. Oh, I don't like that three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign of love. Like yeah, wake up, wake up. Oh, no, it's love now, it's love. The funny thing is, I think it's a completely different view. What it is is that 
if I have a problem with somebody, it has to be solved right there and then. Mm. Otherwise, I'll cut the person off. You're like, which is And <laughs> when I cut the person off, it won't be a load on me because mm. I will totally have forgotten. Yeah. There will be no malice, wow. but I'll cut the person mm. off. Cut, you know, I, mean, I don't know how to, what word to use because I know what cutting off means to most people and it's not what I'm detached. trying to say. I will, just, I will just leave. Okay. And that's it. You can come and look for me later to apologize because what this is, I, once I, I don't know, in an, once I leave the venue of an argument and it's, be, and it's become bitter, it means that I have actually concluded that I'm actually right. Oh, wow. Okay. I was enjoying that one. <laughs> you, can, you never cease to amaze me. Yeah. This, is, this is certainly one advocacy we'll get to put into practice before the year is out, some of us before the week is out. After the break, Uche wants to draw some life lessons from a social media event.